Welcome guys to a brand new video on Black Clover Mobile. I'm so sorry guys if you guys can hear me having a block noise right now. I am currently recording in a very cold room. It sucks. But in today's video, this is a very, very important. I'm going to be going over a quick information regarding Julius that you guys need to essentially have before you guys go ahead and summon for him. So I'm going to be talking about how much dupes do you require for him? So do you need to max this character out? and do you also need his skill pages so this is going to be essential because julius has officially been announced by the devs and should be coming within two days yes guys within two days the rush for julius is out so right now you guys need to you know be preparing you guys need to be saving all your resources and whatnot if you guys want to know how to prepare for julius i have already released a video detailing every single important thing you guys need to do before julius comes out so that once you get this character because every free to play player should be to get in this unit once you get him you want to have resources to max him out on day one and when i mean max him out i mean get him to at least level 90 given gears um bond level at uh, 10 um you know amazing gears on him and whatnot so essentially it is important that you guys are prepared for that now to know what you need to do with julius you also want to decide whether you want to go balls deep on his banner regarding duplicates so i think at least you should do 200 summons on his banner that is because you absolutely want to get extra copies for him but also want to get his skill pages i think if you do 200 summons you're more likely to get his skill pages but at the same time not everyone will be that lucky and some people won't be able to get his skill pages then but i do think julius is one of those characters that you also want his skill pages but is it worth duping out or uh, maxing out julius my answer would be absolutely now julius is a character i hopefully should be showing you guys a bunch of like videos right now detailing his skills but he is a character where that when you dupe him up so his level two passive which is when you get him duped up to two times his level two passive basically gives him the revive mechanic so when you die for the first time in the battle use regression and return to life for 45 percent of max hp this effect can only activate once per battle now this is only at level two which is actually pretty good like already this is actually very very good however if you guys max this character out the amount of hp it revives with will, will increase i don't know the exact number but i'm pretty sure it's 100 percent that so you revive with 100 percent of your hp which is going to be essentially amazing for pve and pvp but don't forget this is only activated once per battle now this is a character that you also want to get his skill pages which i will detail um, but first of all let's quickly summarize what julius is um, julius actually does and why he is essentially in a must-have character so with noelle in the game noelle is a must-have character because she does great aoe damage she also has the shield mechanic which is actually pretty good and the counter ability as well which is very very good now with julius his damage potential is also as high as noelle but he's only a single target character or his, uh, his damage is only orientated towards single target um, damage so going over to his skill one essentially he um you know attacks one enemy and applies five percent decreased stamina to the enemy if this attack is a crit hit applies five percent increased stamina to all allies um so this is just a skill one going over to skill two this is an aoe ability um, but essentially with this ability he has a 50% chance to inflict time stop on an enemy which is a new mechanic and time stop basically disables the effect of skill 2 and increases its cooldown by one turn. Now this is essentially going to be insane for PvP. This is already really really strong in PvP and then it also grants self increased speed level 3 for one turn. Now obviously you already know why it, uh, this is very very strong. Now speed is one of the most important stats in PvP so increasing his own speed will allow him to go again well have his turn as fast as possible allowing him to you know get more damage off so that is actually very very good and then going over to his ultimate ability this is a single target ability and I believe this is a nukin um potential well, nukin skill as well so it also has the ability to stun as well so it stuns the enemy for one turn applies a 20 percent decreased stamina to the enemy and it grants an extra turn if this attack kills the enemy so you want to make sure he nukes if in pvp you nuke with this ability and you kill that enemy you get extra turn and have more chance to deal damage with your julius which is actually very very strong and then with his um, combination attack um 
upon having a buff attack after applying 30% increased damage to self and then applies 10% decreased stamina to the enemy um you can also well level this up to increase the damage even more so obviously this is also pretty good and is um lr passive is basically for every 15 speed gain three percent increased damage uh gain one stack of time accumulation every turn so the max is five turns and i believe this is not only your turn so as long as the enemy is also attacking that counts as a turn as well so it's actually quite not easy but it is doable to get max stacks of his time accumulation and, and the time accumulation basically increases his special skill damage by 10% so if you have this maxed out um, full stack sorry it will be 50% increase in damage with his special which basically should help him um, you know nuke with that and obviously you know once he nukes and he kills the enemy he does get an extra turn so that is actually very very strong so in my opinion I think you need to max out this character I think you need to dupe him up full on now if you guys um you know finish your made um your mage path or whatever you guys should have the universal dupes available now with my noel i have used um maybe i can only used one or two universal dupes into her which essentially has allowed me to get her l2 passive now i really do want to get my noel um all the way to um you know all, all the way to max dupe so that i can get this extremely amazing enhanced passive but what i've decided to do is just wait for julius see how lucky i get now i don't even have enough resources to guarantee him but if i have to i will definitely start spending in this game so that i can get as many copies as possible so at best i should be able to get him to um get his l2 passive because i already have two universal dupes available which is actually very very good and then i'll get one more because i still haven't completed my advanced one over here so i will get one more over here which will basically allow me to have three but i definitely will give one to my um my noel because i also have the gateway of reunion which would then give me one more copy of noel so essentially i have myself a maxed out noel and then i will also have a l2 um well not l2 a duped a two star um julius as well but honestly guys if you guys are free to play player you want to fully utilize your julius i think the main thing you want to be doing is maxing out this character because um that's in um that revive mechanic reviving with 100 of hp is actually going to be insane but once again i don't actually i can't remember the exact value but i'm pretty sure it is 100 um hp recovery when you die now moving on to his skill page and why you actually need to get this now compared to like noel noel skill page is actually good but not a must have it's not a requirement for your noel to be extra actually insane but with julius this skill page just enhances capabilities in general which is insane in my opinion so um i'm gonna try and find the skill right now it's very hard to find julius's one for some reason found it it's called pride of the wizard king so basically with this so his skill 2 is an AoE ability that inflicts 50% um, that inflicts um, time stop on the enemy for 2 turns and also grants an increased speed buff. However, with his skill page, it basically has the ability to reduce the stamina of the target targeted enemy to 0. Now this is an AoE ability, so this is insane very very insane and then it has a 60 percent chance to apply 10 percent decreased stamina to enemies other than the targeted one so since this is an aoe one enemy will be inflicted with the um reduction of stamina to zero and then the rest of the you know enemies in pvp or pve will have a 60 percent chance to apply a 10 percent decreased stamina to the enemy and that is actually going to be very very good so in general his scale page will basically just enhance his capabilities and in my opinion also worth getting it so i don't know how lucky you guys are going to get uh with his banner i don't know if you guys have enough resources to you know get his skill pages as well but my main your main focus probably will uh, will be to try and get as much dupes as possible for him so i would say maxing them out is your main priority and it isn't that hard because especially if you have those those universal um mage pieces that is possible uh so your versatile mage pieces that is possible to max out julius and also even if you don't max him out right now you will be able to get more versatile mage pieces in the future so allowing you to max him out uh, but maybe it is going to be important to just max him out straight away once he comes out because that just gives you an uh, increased benefit at the moment um 
so yeah make sure you guys are prepared for this julius if you guys don't know how to prepare for him go ahead and check out our previous video i went over a detailed guide on how to prepare for him tell me down in the comment section what are your plans regarding julius and if you guys screwed yourself over with the um, noel did you guys get too um trigger happy and uh or greedy and decided to summon on the noel banner um or went balls deep on the noel banner like i said if i have to i definitely will spend i don't know how much i'm willing to dump in i just really want to get two copies of julius at least so that i can at least i don't know i want to get three copies of julius no cap like the resources i have definitely won't allow that if you take a look at it right now yeah i can't guarantee even one copy so me being greedy and expecting free copies is insane but once again i will be making a summoning video once he once he comes out and we can see how lucky i get because i can't lie my account has been extremely extremely lucky as a free to play player look at the amount of um characters i have right now literally insane very very lucky and if you take a look at my um my skill pages as well i have a lot like it's not i have a lot of sally's uh skill pages as well which pisses me off but uh yeah i, I do get lucky with skill pages as well i do have noelle's one i have gauche's one as well so yeah very very insane i might buy the battle pass guys so that i can then get charmy skill pages as well uh, and then i also get 20 summons over here and then i might potentially buy some other stuff as well if it's worth buying um well we'll see Anyways, hopefully you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more content on Black Clover Mobile. If you guys don't want to miss out future content on the game, make sure you are subscribed. It's been your boy AC Gamer, and I'm out.